it's so interesting when you travel is you find people have a different approach to government. In our society, we have an alternative, two choices, big bad government or little good government. And in Europe, there's a third choice called big good government. <laughs> big good government. It sounds laughable, but in Europe, when you are paying taxes, you expect to pay high taxes and you want results for those taxes. Big good government. The woman who's the president of Helsinki has like 70% approval rating. She just started her second six-year term and it's one of the most highly taxed parts of Europe. They love it. They're happy to pay their taxes. You don't find people moping about their taxes because they have a certain baseline of decency for their society and they want to do well as a society. Now, they don't have the ethic of charity that we have here. We go to auctions. We do all sorts of good things that way. You don't see that in Europe. People pay high taxes and they want the government to solve it. And it's not perfect. It's their approach to this. It's just very different. When I go to Europe, I find, especially in Scandinavia, the most highly taxed, most socialistic part of Europe, on the main square you don't find a church with a spire, you find a city hall with a bell tower. It's very interesting. You step inside, you have a nave, secular nave. You don't have a pulpit, you got a lectern. You got a mosaic uh, mural here, not celebrating great Bible stories, but celebrating heroic individuals that contributed mightily to their community. That's the socialism you find in Scandinavia. It's in their ethic. They live together. They don't want a thousand points of light. They want one compassionate, well-organized searchlight from their government, ideally. Now, it doesn't work all the way that, it doesn't work as they plan, but that's their ideal. And that was Copenhagen, this, that was Stockholm, this is Oslo. And you find those grand city halls. I've got friends in Switzerland that I love to talk to. This is Ollie, you've met him on my TV shows may, maybe. And he's a school teacher in this little village and uh, he's my sounding board. I remember once asking Ollie, I said, Ollie, how can you Swiss people so docilely pay such high taxes? And without missing a beat, he said, well, what's it worth to live in a society where there is no homelessness, no hunger, and where everybody's got access to quality health care and education? It's just their ethic. It's just their ethic. I mean, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a fascinating outlook that they have, and, and, and they've got it figured out. Um, and you talk to these people, and it's just, it's just how they want their society to be.